as you can see, I have my uh, oil hand pump set up here going, and I'm just taking advantage of the daylight uh, to fill this rear end before I forget. So as you can see too, it is uh, already leaking out. So just a few more pumps and then I'm going to uh, cap it up. All right, it's leaking out pretty good now. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and pull this guy and cap it up here. So now that it's full, I put the cap on uh, tightly, um, but I'm going to be filling the rear end again once the front wheels are on the ground because that way a little bit more oil will. Um, will be able to be uh, contained in there. Um, the other way you can do it is if you, you were doing an axle like mine, is you can uh, jack the car up on one side and fill the oil through the axle opening. That way you can get a ton in here if um, you, you know, uh, you want to do uh, drifting or whatever where the oil is going to be sloshing around. You can have a larger amount of oil sitting in there. Otherwise, for just daily use or casual driving, um, just filling up to when it's leaking out of the fill hole is enough. So here are the new brake rotors. Well, the, the one on the right anyway. And it's from a company called Palenga uh, out of Italy. I'm not familiar with the brand, but I just got them from a local auto parts store. And uh, let's throw them on. Okay, and I'm back. It's actually been a couple of hours. It's later on in the evening now, and we're going to start off where we left off. I'm going to be uh, cleaning the brake rotors of the, um, the coating stuff that's on there, and then we'll just uh, pop them on. So, as you can see here, oops. just like earlier. And again, it's really important that you clean the brake pad surfaces with brake parts cleaner or just acetone before installing. Just reinstalling the pads now. Okay, so I just finished everything pretty much. Um, just needs to be, the car just needs to be dropped and then uh, taken for a uh, to get it aligned tomorrow. Um, I found out that this side here may have a leaky seal, so that might have to come apart at some point. Um, I'm gonna order the seals, and then um, we'll see We'll see if the oil keeps coming out, because I think, um, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the seal is bad. And then I just finished uh, the front uh, tie rods too. Here's these guys, and check out this thing here. Yeah, that's, that was definitely bad. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad I'm all done. I uh, didn't record any of it because uh, I'm tired. Uh, really tired, actually. So I'm just going to go edit this one. 
and uh, not sure if I'm going to get footage from the alignment tomorrow, uh, the alignment shop. I may or may not, um, depending on if the dude wants uh, or you know wants me to record. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Until then, uh, you guys take care and keep the 86 alive. Thanks for watching. Bonus messy garage footage. This place is a mess. I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time tomorrow cleaning this up. Alright guys, take it easy.